interesting contrast, both in personalities and styles and in preparation and in so the way they prepare for their careers. George St. Pierre is the quintessential disciplined athlete. He's a guy who, who revels in his discipline. He's a guy who takes great pride in the fact that he is willing to do things and push himself in a way that other people cannot do. The welterweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre, steps in to the Harley Davidson prep point. He was the winner of the first fight between these two great champions, UFC 58, March 4th, 2006. After getting dominated in the first round, St. Pierre came back and won a razor close decision. Razor close decision, and if you look at the first round, the real damage was caused by two things. One, a poke to the eye, and two, one uppercut that landed on George's nose and hit the tip of his nose and it bothered him very badly. His nose was bleeding all over his face and he looked a mess. But the real blood and all the damage was from those two shots. But other than that, BJ was dominating the stand-up. BJ lands, lands a lot of jabs. His jab is one of the best in the MMA. Freddie Roach, who is a very respected boxing trainer, has said that BJ Penn's boxing is the very best he's ever seen in MMA. Great quickness, better accuracy, the jab and the striking of Penn, as he is set to face, George Rush St. Pierre, again! Je suis dans les clubs, je rentre au film, mais pensez-vous que mes accords